how do you navigate um, the perception of being a professional choreographer and dancer? Um, you know what I mean? Like sometimes you go into a, uh, a gig and I mean, in the past for me specifically, like sometimes as dancers, we're just regulated to just like, oh, jan lang kayo, parang, mm-hmm. you know, you're not, you're not sometimes always treated uh, as a professional because um, mm-hmm. they just think that oh, it's just dancing. Um, now, not all, obviously not all clients are like this. I've encountered yeah. a lot. They're very respectful, but uh, obviously when you might encounter this a lot in the beginning when you're first starting out. So, um, yeah. You know, how does this? How did you sort of navigate that? What what changes have you experienced since going through it? Yeah, um, when I experienced those uh, kind of uh, discrimination, if you will, mm. so it instantly became my advocacy personally as a as a choreographer and a dancer to to put up the the street dance and hip hop um, industry into a higher pedestal. So I want I wanted really to for clients to respect us and to respect not just the rates, but dapat may maayos na pagkain, um, may maayos na, na waiting area, stuff like that. No? So, um, I think it's siguro two things. One is first, how you present yourself. Of course, you, ha- you need to present yourself in a professional manner. So, mm-hmm. if you have meetings, you need to show up on time. You need mm-hmm. to, you need to look, um, you need, you need to dress properly you need to look properly when you when you present to a client you need to be professional as well you need to um when you email a client you need to be professional as well um next thing is of course moas or uh, what do you call this memorandums of agreement so um as much as possible you need to put all of those necessary things mm-hmm. so that a uh, client won't discriminate you Mm-hmm. And then if if ever that pag nangyayari sa UPP yan kunyari may na feel medyo maarte na yung ano eh mga iba eh. <laughs> hindi pero kunyari may na feel kami na parang uy parang ang alat naman ng treatment sa atin then mm-hmm. of course i i talk to the to the heads to the agency mm-hmm. and ganun but then um what's funny is after UPP won these titles and then after world of dance of course hindi na namin yun na nararanasan kasi parang kilala na na rin naman kami. Yeah. And syempre, parang yung clients na yun na hiya to, to, to do those kinds of stuff. So, so yeah. I think nag-improve na naman siya through yes. the years. Yeah, before, yeah, yeah. before, dancers were really not um, treated well eh, in these events. Yeah, yeah. Kunyari, may banda, no? Parang mausog yeah. ka, mausog, ganyan. But yeah. now, um, tables have turned eh. Parang feeling ko dance is really uh, an emerging art form for this kind of industry. Mm. So, yeah, and I think that's definitely in 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 part a lot right to the competition scene. I mean, we we don't give it enough credit sometimes that in it's these it's these scenes that we do where we go out, we represent the country, right? And at a mm-hmm. time when it's like an unrespected, you know, thing, and then maybe people don't really think of it as a big deal, uh, mm-hmm. and you come back, and then then suddenly they're like, oh wow, you did this, and it really set the standard. You're right. Like, I mean, imagine if you didn't have the opportunity to shine with other, with other teams, you know, internationally, um, mm. you know, if you came back, things would just be maybe the same, but the fact that you go out, you, uh, you not, whether you're, whether or not you accomplish, but you, you just go out and represent. And, and I think it brings validity to a lot of, uh, uh, of how we operate, but the, I guess like that's, that's like a plus, but I think what you mentioned is really the most important thing. It, it has to start with the, individual dancer the individual team like you don't have to go out and compete to be treated properly is really mm-hmm. what i'm saying right you like as long as you carry and present yourself like you said all the stuff on time uh you know how you communicate uh, professionalism in your in your documentation and all of and that how you that. how you present yourself during gigs then parang hindi ka pwede magmukhang yeah magmukhang squammy <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> they can't they can't be any point na parang they said was that like they can't question in their heads like was that worth it like you know they yeah, have to know, know like wow that was we got what we paid for you know what i mean uh-huh. so that that's an important thing cool man I, i'm glad we sort of dived into that uh that discussion a little bit 